film testing. Can you explain this again? Please, the, 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 um, is it 24 frames per second? What no, no, there's that? no 24 frames per second here. This is a test to see how well the TV's video processing is de-interlacing a uh, film-based high-definition source. Okay, so let's say you you watch movies on Showtime or HBO. Okay, um, if the movie was shot in film, it was then transferred to high-def video. No, that's what you're looking. You're looking at how well does your TV handle that signal. If we feed it 1080p 24 and put this thing up, everything in the room will look perfect. It won't. That's not, no problem at all. But. You, you put 1080i up there, and now you're looking at how well does this thing take 1080i and make it 1080p. Maybe that's it's a little, that's maybe a simpler way of explaining it. The first one took 1080i video and made it 1080p, and now it's taking 1080i film to make it 1080p, 60. <coughs> Nothing to do with Correct. the 24p movies. Okay. That's it. Is there anything you can do to correct it, though? No. What, well, you can't well, well, yeah, he, there is. Well, didn't he mention that some of the, some of the sets have, there, I know. Well, Samsung, you have a. There's all sorts of different settings of amp levels. Oh yeah, on, on the LCDs, in you, right. there are some of them have adjustability in their 120 or 240 hertz processing that might, you know, I don't know because I haven't actually done this, but may make it look a little bit better. But um, make something else look worse. That's the right. You never know. That's what you mentioned earlier. Uh, so, so basically, um, that's an inherent. Uh, yeah, uh, shortcoming of the TV, I guess. Well, that's it. That's that's why we're showing it to you. Exactly. It's an important per performance <coughs> parameter. We want you to take a good look at all of them and give us a uh, rating on them. If you have a receiver that has that does scaling that has no, like no, an HQ, that's an all. Uh, Still that wouldn't be an issue, part. right? Uh, Say that again. Then? If you have a, a receiver that can scale up to 1080p. Like let's a lot of the Denon uh, receivers yeah, have right. the HQV. Uh, yeah, that, that if it's this will take this problem away. It would probably, yeah. Right. Yep. If it's doing its job properly, yes. yes. Yeah, put it back on there, uh, D-Nice. It was on custom. So shutting it off actually fixed it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, what was it that you showed? The 240. motion. Oh, really? Really? He went from, from custom to off. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you do it on the top one too, it's got three boxes. That are I, I, um, the, I, what does the plasma have? The whole, no, like that? Any of the, the 120 or 240 on film based material also uh, generally will cause it, it, it causes film to look very strange, uh, soap opera ish almost. It takes the, it does, it absolutely does. I mean, it's, it's a love or hate thing. I hate it. Um, I'll take the, uh, I'll take the Jenner in film over the the way that these schemes make film look when you engage uh, engage it any day. But that's my that's my thing. We have a question online. Can somebody talk about how the local dimming works and how well it is compared to the plasmas? Uh, boy, that's a good one. Bruce. Or, like technically how it works, or are they asking for the people's? We're opinion asking for there? these four LCDs. How they compare to the plasmas? Well, they kicked their butts, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I want to defer to the calibrators. On Only the Professor Shiba has local demo, right? No, no, the, no. LG, the LG does. The LG and the Toshiba are local demo. Yeah. So. Um, and at some point, if we have a chance to hook up my little doohickey. It looks blurry around. Okay. It's, at some point, I don't want to take away from what you're doing. I mean, from an yeah, opinion. Yeah, I want to show real content, so we'll do it. Yeah, no problem. An opinion. Um, I prefer a display to be able to dim each pixel on its own to have to control low black level by dimming the light that's behind the panel you're now dimming a whole area rather than one specific pixel so the more accurate control of black to white would be the individual pixel control rather than the backlight from behind the display i mean the idea would be to have each one of the leds locally dim and then we'd have a ten thousand dollar tv and we'd be in the same right. area yeah. The, the challenges in the past, it's when it's LCD versus LCD plasma, LCD, it's always a, LCD had a bunch of these great advantages, but plasma handled fast action better, and plasma did better blacks better. We've done 120 and now 240 to help with fast action processing, and we've done dynamic backlight, and now we're doing local dimming to get better with the blacks without sacrificing the inherent advantages of LCD. 
like being the only rep here. <laughs> <laughs> they should have stayed. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So if uh, I know time is, is moving on, I think if you're all comfortable with this and you want to rate the uh, the uh, resolution end of it, we'll look at some real pictures. We had one more question about the blurred jutter settings on the Luxia. Okay. On the uh, Samsung? Yeah. yeah. What is it? Um, what are the settings? Settings for... Oh, what settings did we have it in? Yeah. Actually, we had it in the standard, and then and then D Nice shut it off uh, on the film resolution test pattern. Actually, we had it in custom. <coughs> <laughs> Did we have it in custom in the yeah. beginning? Right, because in custom you can actually adjust, you can adjust it. You can adjust your blur. You can adjust your jutter. We left it all at five in custom. So when you turn it off, it just turns it back to I guess 60 hertz. 60 hertz display. I mean, personally, I I will leave that off. I mean, as you can see with that test, it's much better with it off anyway. If you like for film, right? For film, if it you actually like. doesn't look. It doesn't give you that funky look that I was talking about before right. on HD video. So when we watch Blu-ray, can you show that? Yeah, we could if you want. Yeah, it's a good idea. You know what? Yeah. Put yeah, put it on. Okay. Put it on high. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the Dark Knight available? Do you have yours? Uh, I have it. Device? It's in the back. Awesome. Let go get it. Thank you.